Hey there, how are you? Hortonworks Hadoop Sandbox comes with all Hadoop technologies pre-installed in a virtual machine. It offers the flexibility to simply start a pseudo cluster from a VM without going through all the hassle of installing each and every tool of Hadoop. It is a great way for learning and development and testing of your application in your local environment. In this video, we will see installing Hortonworks Hadoop Sandbox in Windows 11. Even if you are using Linux, Mac or other versions of Windows, you can follow the exact same process. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. With that being said, let's start the video. I'm going to see you on the other side of the intro. So first we have to download and install VirtualBox in our system. So go to your uh, browser and type in VirtualBox download and go to the first link here that says virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads and it is opening. Uh, forgive me, seems like my internet is a little slow. All right. So here, go ahead and select the download link according to your operating system. I am selecting Windows and it will take a minute to download. I am canceling this because I have already downloaded it. So for you, once it completes downloading, go to your downloads folder and double click on the installer file. Click on next. Yes, next and yeah. Uh, it will uh, halt your network connection uh, in the installing process that is temporary. So go ahead and click on yes and install. And click on finish. All right. Uh, now our virtual box uh, is successfully installed and opened in our system. I just want to tweak one setting here. Uh, go to file and go to preferences. And within this, yeah, here default machine folder. It is defaultly C folder, uh, C drive. I just wanted to change it to my D drive. And here. I am creating a new folder that says virtual machines. So select this folder. Uh, all right, and click on OK. So that uh, from now on, uh, whatever the virtual machine we create, it will be stored in the folder uh, D drive virtual machines that we have just created. Once our virtual box is set up, we have to now download our sand, uh, Hortonworks sandbox. So go to our browser again and type in cloudera.com. And yeah, within this, go to search and type in HTTP sandbox. All right. So go to this particular link that says getting started with HTTP sandbox and download sandbox here select this one hortonworks http download now and here uh, select the installation type as virtual box let's go and accept the terms and conditions and click submit so uh at this point, you might get a pop up asking you to sign up for Cloudera uh, or login. So go ahead and create an account uh, by giving your name and email ID. I have completed that. So it is directly taking me to downloads. Here you can see the latest version is 3.0.1 and but I am choosing 2.6.5. The reason being it is more reliable than the latest version and also it takes less storage and less resources. So I'm clicking on this here. You can see it is 15 GB. So definitely it's going to take a, a while. So I'm canceling this because I have already downloaded. So go to your downloads once you complete downloading that and 
this is the file we just downloaded and let's copy this uh, to uh, I will cut this here and I will copy this to my virtual machines folder that I have just created in D drive and yeah give it a minute because it is a 15 GB file it will take a while all right now we have our sandbox file in our virtual machines folder in D drive double click on this so it opened uh, with our virtual box so click on finish and it is importing again it is a 15 gb file so it will take a file to import uh, so maybe get your coffee or take a walk and uh, come back once this is done well it is completed importing for me so go ahead and double click on this uh, it is powering up again give it a minute all right it loaded for me I fast forwarded all the booting process in the interest of time after uh, you double click here uh, you just need to wait until you see this screen only first time it takes some time next time onwards you will get this screen in a minute after you start the VM so now that our VM is up and running uh, you can see here for virtual box welcome screen is HTTP uh, slash uh, localhost uh, at port number 1080 so let's open that localhost 1080 here you can see a uh, launch dashboard and when once you click on that you will get the hot and works uh, ambari dashboard uh, okay you have to log in here the password is maria dev and uh, username is maria dev and password is also same I will make sure to keep all these links and passwords, usernames uh, to keep them in uh, description of the video. So don't worry about that. All right, uh, you can see here almost all the services are up and running. And if you can go to admin here, you can see all these tools, all of these Hadoop tools are uh, pre-installed in this uh, virtual box. So um, also, you can, if you can see here, you can actually SSH into the cluster. So let's do that. Open your PowerShell. Uh, you can open the terminal if you are in Mac or Linux. Type in SSH uh, root at the rate 127.0.0.1-p and give the port number as 2222 and click enter. Password will be Hadoop. Again, I will provide all these uh, usernames and passwords in the description. So first time when you log in, it will ask you to change the password. So go ahead and change it. Give the current password and then the new password. All right, now we are into the cluster. So let me do some commands. Uh, if I type hive, uh, it should take me into a hive shell. Let's see. All right, it is, it is taking me. All right, we are into the hive shell. If I type in show databases, uh, it says uh, it shows me two databases default and food mart and I am exiting from high shell well that's it for this video guys if you find it useful click the like button share the video and thanks for watching